gotta remember to turn up my mic. Something like that is probably good. Okay. Anyways, what's up with you, Nier? Oh, you're, st you're streaming now? Okay. Well, I mean, I am, but I'm very, I'm very impromptu with my streams, so it's casual. So this is the new team, huh? So this is the new team. Well, I mean, technically they've already played, so it's not brand new. But I mean, both of these teams are brand new to no, this no, season. Like, uh, the, this is this is the team that's replaced uh, Twelve Bill. Wait, did they? Did they yeah, sacrifice did, uh, Toilet Bell? Toilet Bell got a dispense for some random reason. Okay, I did not know that. I am not up to date on current events of League of Legends. Guam needs to do like a newspaper or something. You probably it did announce it, I think. I don't read Guam's announcements. I mean, <laughs> my life is easier if I just don't read what Guam says, right? Maybe. Uh, I, I kid at the end of the day. Uh, maybe he did? I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're close to done with the group stage. Your team kind of kicked ass last night. Like, easy games. Yeah, it wasn't close. Although, like, when we scrimmed them. But the, the games, were, they were ahead again. Both games when we scrimmed them. But yesterday, they seemed mm -hmm. much better than them. Uh, their carry just was out of position the whole entire dude like, that's yeah. yeah that's what brightside was saying like every single time in at least the gyro game yeah after watch replay too he was like he had like a really good time i don't know he just threw it all away mm -hmm. strikers had like a 7 cs 10 minutes in and the gyro had like 60 and 23 denies or something like that yeah, like he basically had free farm for most of the early game, but just a couple of just fights, died. die a couple of times. And, he died I mean, three times in game. three minutes. Yeah. Wait, who is H? Or no, that's his guild. That's not his team. Okay. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a humble Korean. Since he has H Korea exclamation flag. point? Potentially. Oh, I should see if we've done the coin test yet. We have not. Okay. Um, still, this is game one, so I don't need to have the text on for who's won game one because nobody wants to put the tick on there. You guys didn't put the tick on there either. Gosh. No, I think we did. We did. Did you? We had ticket. Our games were ticketed, yes. No, not ticketed. Like, the tick for the who won the game. Like, the first game. You know, like, when you look up oh, and there's a little yeah, 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 like, yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. forgets to do that, dude. I start doing it whenever I'm in the lobby because I think it's cool. Yeah, it just makes my life easier too. That's why I respect it. I mean, sometimes they, people get confused. They put Radiant as a winner, although it's Dire who won. Because right, everyone needs swaps and then, yeah. Either way, uh, what do you prefer? Second pick first or choice of side? Looks like, looks like it doesn't matter for us that much. It's yeah, well, strikers. sure, but I mean, no, no. I think usually. strikers. I think we. I think striker. Strikers is my our drafter. I think he likes first pick, most of the time, but if if we get second pick, we also can deal with it. So far, no scrims and the uh, no officials we didn't have a bad time with either first or second pick. Sometimes second pick makes it harder for my lane since I have to pick my hero earlier. Sometimes mm -hmm. I just like pick my hero at 15, like yesterday when I picked Five the field. That makes it hard. That makes you rely on your other four players back. to do well. Because mm -hmm. you might not be able to just do 1v5. Because your hero is countered. So I think... Mm. Like, Pattern yesterday like performed really well. Him, Sarah Pike, and like, the Grim, they just like we're able to find the gyro, kill him four times without needing my help. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. That, that was still... I love the combo of Earth Spirit Grimstroke. I mean, a yeah, couple of times it didn't go good. perfect, because, like, 
the early cast range on Inkswell is a little bit too small, and if the roll is too early, it's it's hard to get. Also, a when they right. move, when they move the Oracle top, it's was rough to do. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, before that happens and after it, it's into the mid game. It's a little bit harder to hit if you're the Oracle. So. Yep. I was surprised they just did not move the Oracle whenever they knew that we had the lane top. Ten seconds remaining. They kept him following the tango bottom. What do you think? It, what, is somebody an ET spammer on RTG, RFTG? Like a first only, band ET. I know Claire. I know. I only know Claire, and I play with Itachi like twice, and that's it. I don't okay. Know Claire plays like ET. the ET first band seems a little strange. I'm not sure if there's an ET spammer. Can I see? Actually, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The big. Where is it? The big dick Riza. He has 34 games on ET this month off lane ET. Oh, I should actually watch him them. Off lane ET is a throwback, honestly. Like it's actually no, it's, a, it's I think it's a plus four. Most of the time it's uh, okay. older. So. Either way, ET is such a fun hero. It's really annoying to play against. I'm surprised more teams don't pick it, honestly. No, uh, it's I think it's a comfort thing. Because like sometimes you give it to someone who doesn't really play the hero and he's just gonna feed with it. It's not yeah, like a, it's, true. it's not like a lich or something that you just pick and it's good. I mean it's not that you you cast your spirit, you hit remaining. your Q, and that's it. Alright. I mean I guess you gotta be kinda careful with how you're diving uh with the bonus damage. You can't like People overextend. Don't know how to land with the hero. Yeah. Oh that's after, that, that after is one landing. of the things yeah. too. Radiant team team. Once you understand how much damage he does, I think uh, yeah. you can just pick it every time. It's, it's really so good. good. It's so it much fun again. to play with. Uh, we've been picking it for my rd 2 l team, and it's yeah, it never gets banned, dude. Nobody thinks about the ET. So it looks like they just target banned their pause for who plays who plays ET or Spirit. Uh, Void Spirit can also be in that four roll. Same thing with her Shaker too. Hmm. Claire was playing Void Spirit support. That's why they banned it. I'm kind of surprised they got rid of the Ten Clockwork because it definitely feels like a hero, especially this patch. There's so many ways to draft around it and just make Clockwork's game impossible. Yeah, every time I see Clockwork, uh, it's just like I, I know that I'm gonna have farm. To be honest. Yeah. I mean, you just pick PL, you, you pick, like, Radiant I don't know, you could go Morphling, I guess, if you really wanted to. But just heroes that Clockwork can't kill, and you have a And I was surprised game. yesterday, like, they picked Clock into Earth Spirit also. Like, I don't know why. Yeah, it's never good. It's always, it feels bad. Because it was that Earth Spirit first pick, I believe. So, Nature Prophet, Tusk. It's good lane. It is decent. I guess, yeah, NP does have like one of the best uh, right clicks in the game, and the same thing with Tusk and the tag team. So you can do a lot of damage, uh, pretty heavy to a lich. They probably can test early bounty runes uh, efficiently. Probably gonna. Okay, that's your plus four, most likely. But that's his lowest win rate plus four hero. And actually, their plus four is rank six fifty two. I mean, you like... can flex it still, though, right? Maybe, but most likely, when you pick it this early, they're just a support. Mm -hmm. Radiant team back. Like you could, you could potentially throw it mid if the matchup ends Radiant up uh, being good, but uh, probably going to be a plus four. I don't think they can. Flex it because they have they don't have last pick. I don't know. I think they still just go with their mid, like second to last, and yeah, I'm sure it's just a, this is just a plus four. I think Bright Tab was talking to you. You get like the um, you get the last two picks to counter either the core or the mid laner. Um, RTG does with the oh gosh, what is that? Seventeen and eighteen pick. Five Wait, that's 17, 18, 19, 20? 18, 17, 18, 21. Yes. So with 18 and 21, you get to counter the 17 pick. Like, uh, 
So is this That's why I feel like second pick's maybe a bit better, or first Sometimes, pick's a bit yeah. better at the moment. Uh, they have, they both have their like pros. I don't know. Uh, I would say second pick gives you like the option to pick like a, a core that you can split between safe lane and mid lane, mm -hmm. and the enemy team will not know if it's going safe lane or mid lane until your last pick. You can do that with first pick, but first pick sometimes gives you the option to pick like the strong heroes, and you can counter most of your lanes. But I think when you have second pick, you can outplay them really hard with drafts. Oh pick God! Is... Looks like this is what boss fight nature for, proper. Dude. What are we in for? Can we not <laughs> today? Actually, if it's a, if it's a Pango Tusk lane, we'll just go anti mage. That looks like this is the Earth Ember Spirit safe lane or something. Oh God, that is a really early Ember Spirit though. I guess they did pick it after um, the Pango, Pango so it's, it's fine. You, you still only get two picks to counter an Ember, but they're just like, yeah, screw it, we're just gonna pick Techies, piss them off, I guess. You know, Techies isn't terrible into Ember Spirit, like... The roots are so annoying. Yeah. They really don't have anybody it, with... Uh... It's Flaming Orange is not enough. I mean, it is three, two ranged heroes into a Techies, which is kind of feels better, but... Uh... Physical damage from the base mine is annoying to deal with, and then of course the magical damage. Well, really I don't know how this deck is gonna fit their draft. Like it's a, uh, they have three heroes that they want to run at people, and they have techies who are just wants tank behind towers. Dude, like not, the nature uh, one is. They have three heroes that set up for the suicide. That's I what see. the play is. Like you have shards, a snowball, you have the sprout from MP, and you have a little bit of a slow and a stun from Pango. Okay, sanking so bug in the lane. Dire team That's kind of a fire. weird lane. It's a lot of. I mean, you mm. can decrify into a stun into a Q from bug in the lane. That's I mean, maybe you throw that in the lane with the NP and his treants. Just don't do anything. Looks like this. Looks like this NP is not a core. Yeah, true. Because it's probably going to be Pango three, right? Maybe Tusk three. What we saw today. Is this a, weird? Is this a mid techies? Maybe. Remaining. That's the flex hero. Dude, I don't know. Maybe it's a mid NP, honestly. That's something that I've also been a big fan of lately, is uh, seeing people pick mid NP and then just rotate as soon as you hit level 6. Uh, they jump go, go too fast, yeah. And they steal your farm. When I play safe lane and I have a mid NP, every time he ults, he just takes my whole life. Mm -hmm. and, well, their lineup is pretty... The opposite of greedy, very uh, humble at the moment. I don't know if that'd be humble and be like, uh. Okay, now I'll go where his stay is, I guess. Feels like they maybe could have gone for a Lycan too, but I also like the Naga in this scenario. Like... I don't know, I think Lycan's kind of out of favor compared to uh, how he used to be. Five seconds remaining. Again, I think it's a, the if there is a good play Lycan player, it's, we're not like really high MR people who like are organized, who can run over games. But I don't think it's a good Lycan game for them. Uh, I'm not sure they're going to pick. You might just pick Storm. Is it a good storm game? Is it? Into like a Sand King Plugna. Um, Ember also has some catch for you, Nago the net. Like... It's not that big of a catch. He can dodge the nets. Can. It's harder. Oh, okay. They go for the jar. They they pick up a note from uh, Moonlight last night. Oh, yeah. That's the jar that has a free farm. Yeah. And I mean, if they give him free farm this game, like, uh, might go well again. I don't know. I feel like this gyro can die super easy early without BKB. So it's a mid ember. Mid ember because Atachi plays mid for them too, right? And then yeah. MP, yeah. MK. Probably in the fourth. 
This is, uh, all right. All right, I have no idea. I, I don't like Animal Control's draft at all, though. That's my, my one gut feeling coming out of this. Like, Yeah, it's not, it's not working out. I think the techies just made it so, so bad. I think they just picked techies for a meme or something. And then uh, in terms of just how rounded out their draft is, our FTG is looking a little bit on top right now. I mean, if the Ember have a good game and the Sand King have a good game, they can just run over them, to be honest. Unless this techies is like a god that knows how to just plant his mines. Dude, if they're picking techies, he better be a god. Like, you basic, you can't pick techies and not be good at playing the hero. It's just not an option. Like, sometimes it happens. And by the way, I just looked this uh, Dota Plus thing and. Radiant players, all of them have less than 50% on the rate this month. You're like uh, at 34% and 40%, so that's not a good sign. So we need a patch, is what you're saying. Do you need a patch? They need a patch. I don't need a patch. I have 70% on the rate this month. Well, we probably are going to get a patch, hopefully. Dude, I'm sick of this patch. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even play Dota, but I'm sick of this patch. I mean, it's only been 60 days, not that much. It's not since the last days. miniature patch we've been in essentially the same like since, overall no, meta since 7.26 it's 7.26 was, sure? was, drop, was dropped on april 17th and 7.26 c wasn't may 5th may, two, may 2nd uh maybe i feel like it was a smaller we need we just need a giant patch that just like i don't know removes a hero it. from the game or something like, i think it just the uh, the quarantine just made people play more and they get bored quicker True. Although I think I've been playing less, to be honest. I've been casting more, You're which is more. good. You're watching more. Yeah. yeah. You're watching the same True. thing more. True. True. <laughs> I'm watching the same game over and over again. But okay, it's still so it's, it's still a good time. So no big it's deal. It's not I'm an MP mid. Everything. It's just an MP yeah, You are right on the Itachi mid. It's uh, Pango mid. It looks like actually XD. Maybe looking at that, and then uh, top lane too. He, he just did just blast off. I think he just was strange. Maybe he just uh, worried about the Ember that he can play with it as an MP against the Ember. Oh, that's a lot of damage into a Pugna it's early, but I don't think they can follow down. this up. Dude, cooldown on level one blast off is actually insane, though. I'm surprised Reggie doesn't go for a stun there. They might have been able to bring down Nox, but. Uh, Potentially not. He doesn't want to tank too many more hits from uh, Ampk. He just wants good experience. Yes, he's not going aggressive. I guess. Bot lane I mean, no bubble bell on Naga. Air on the Lich. I mean, pretty easy Lich game. Not really too much to think about. It's clear, clear. Yeah. Oh, is it clear? Yeah, it is. Clear. Why is it the? He put the sponsor like oh my <laughs> i swear some of these people they make it so difficult dude if, actually if they had a sentry here they could could have killed the sand king this is a farming sand king top which is a little surprising it's just, just a better matchup for them or do you want to take the touch you why even a master uh are we missing cs or something is that why <laughs> It's four to one. He's kind of on top right now. Just have agreed to it early game or something. I mean, this radiant team. I think they are one of the lowest in Mars in the season. Ah, uh, they might be able to bring down Reggie top lane though. There was another sprout. They get yeah. the vision. Couple of right clicks coming in from Techies. He got a He's sentry. Got one yeah, of the best in kill. the game, although. Yeah. 42 damage, it's still such a long range. He should have just went for the EQ build. So why did uh, he just didn't want, did not want to send the Naga against the Techie stuff? Uh, potentially. I don't know if Velvavel is really getting too much more space down here. It's probably a better matchup into Gyro as well. I mean, you can dodge a lot of the Rocket Barrage damage. Oop, I just missed a kill mid. Atachi throws a tip back too. Like I, I think that's well deserved. Yep. Double CS. Kill top that. He's a 
Oh, oh, and top lane, Nox might be able to get the deny off. Blast off goes, and there's the deny. Did have to pop the He's fairy the fire in order to get can, it out. Can deny himself now. Maybe they can take that away from him. I don't think he's doing anything just fine, especially, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the counter. Like, Nog is able to dodge a lot of the rocket barrage damage. You can't really go on a Naga with, like, a tough snowball into tag team. It's really hard to focus him down. Um, the only benefit being, I guess, you have the, uh, flat cannon. They can just run down Claire, though, if mm -hmm. you want. That looks like they're not coordinated. And this Tusk does not have any region. Let's see, anyway, KL just going for a little bit of contest on this creep wave. Velvavel is a little bit aggressive, but uh, they can't really turn anything. They're getting a decent amount of harass out into the Tusk Gyro. But, uh, no mana left on KL, so they really can't commit to too much here. I don't think Claire really wants to go he either. Has, Top lane, really silence hits, but a couple more right clicks. Can they get it? Yes, they do. Nox gets the last hit. 160 gold, two gold going to the techies. Is my game in Russian right now? What? I feel like the best they can do here is just sending the pug in the bottom, maybe. I don't know. But actually, actually Naga also needs levels so she can go jungle. I don't know. This fucking seems like he is unable to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still just a slow start for Radiant and oh, actually Claire going down bottom instead of suicide to a tower. Oh no, he actually just died. Claire yeah, picking up the kill. Killing off techies. Top. Oh? Reggie with the nice one. Bottom, they're actually going again too, trying to find Luca, but do they actually have the damage for this? Velcavel needs to proc Riptide a couple more times, but it is not going to happen. We also clear. lose Pango again. Itachi going off. It's just all the way across the map. Six kills, and we're only four or five minutes into the game. <laughs> that does not look good. Yeah, I'm not even sure I can keep up with this one. The action just way too intense to start. I think our only good lane is going for them is top. This Nog is free farm. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know how they stop it. Like I said, maybe you just go for like max flat cannon and uh, you can go a little bit aggressive. You're still going to get the tag team procs, I believe. Um, yeah. But it is kind of difficult. No, I feel like they need to split the Lich away from the Naga and run down the Lich. Bottom lane, they might be looking at something though. Nox is actually rotated down. They have level three in the tusk, and I think he very correctly goes one one one. They are gonna go with the snowball. Velvavel not gonna pop the illusions in time. There's the silence coming in from Nox. He's got the flat cannon coming through. He's already used all the charges, so he can just pop it. Get saved by the pugna. They need a little bit more damage from the rocket barrage. They do get it. Luca getting the last hit. Yeah, he got really the, too much he pugna the can do. Before he can, get, before he can use the mirror image. So the black cannon did, did damage there. Not mm -hmm. the black cannon, the rocket forward. And mid we will see. I'm I'm just surprised an Ember is able to kill off a, a Pango twice though. He actually might just most dive again too if this happens. This, most likely what happens is just he splash a block splash buckle like aggressively. And just then they run him down. Getting the punish. I mean, is the early level in... I guess, obviously, the early level in the chains is worth it if he's gotten two kills on him. Yeah, and he pushes the wave and he just... Chain it. I mean, he can just run him down, like, see? Okay, now he has his ult in Bango. And he's got the DD now, too. So, uh, really just gonna contest so hard. I'm not too sure. I, they can't really rotate to kill Ember anymore either since he is level 8. Like, he just throws down his spirit pretty defensively. And the only way they can do it is with the techie silence coming through. And I don't know if that's actually going to be able to hit. Itachi's reflexes are probably faster than the uh, the techie's model. And this is... And this flaming arc should be down. Oh, Claire might just die. 
It gets caught in the shards as well as takes a mind blast to the face. Splitting the kill, I believe in the last hit actually goes to creeps there, so it does split it. But uh, yeah, I'll still take the kill. Four to four. Still at that kill per minute uh, rate there. So now I could dodge the lane bottom and Michi's now top. Yeah, just can't go into the gyro anymore. They they know the counter. Like, uh, Vel is also probably better at taking these stacks too. I believe this is a double stack? No. Yeah, it's just the two stack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. All right, both teams got the real jelly. Pretty solid. Dude, I never know who to give the royal jelly to. Like, I usually just take it if I find it and then give the rest to my core. Like, Oh, you just take it. I mean, you just, if you're in a hero that needs mana, I don't know. I think the mana part is more important than the region, HP region part. Like, if you look at the Radiant, you would just give it to Pango and Gyro because you both use abilities. You will not give it to a fucking. You're not gonna give it to Nature Prophet. It's not gonna do anything with it. You just go back to base. And in Dire, you give it to Ember. And, uh. Now, yeah, actually, she can use it. It does feel pretty good at Naga, because Naga's gonna yeah. be out on the map most of the time. Like, uh. And she's gonna expand her Q every base. time of cooldown. I still we'll think two. we need to. We can fight, but we don't want to. Oh. I uh, oh. missed kills. Itachi gonna go right. down. We also get a double kill for Luca. <laughs> the double they tried the diving the tier one, yeah, and he just pops off. They get a nice turn there. NP gonna help out with that. Itachi getting the last hit on the KL. It's a double kill for Itachi. So they also lose the Tusk. I believe that was bottom two. Yeah. No, no, bottom it was just, uh, he t it was 2v1 and he solo killed both of them. Dude, that's just gyro for you. That's the old, the old Havos play right there. No, no, they tried to dive him without, with only level 4 and Lich. No. He is chilling down here, but I think he's got a courier coming with some regen, so... Silence is gonna miss on Itachi. EXD may be looking for the roll, but I think he needed that silence to hit in order to make anything happen. Let's get the Decrepify over on the KL. They're going to take the Outpost not in time, unfortunately. So they're still going to get XP for both teams. But XD completely missing the roll here. Or is this Anko or XD? Did both of them do this? No, Anko is the team name? Yeah. Yeah, XD is like... Who names them? Okay, this Jar is making the same mistake. Jar is making the same mistake the other Jar did yesterday. Same bottom. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think it's just... Even if you free farm, like the first nine, ten minutes of the game, you have to leave just because it's not safe anymore, and it's getting to the point. Oh, where you it's bring your whole team and fight them. Yeah, you but can just well, it's three v three. Do they take this with uh, Tusk being down here? Like they can maybe bring down Lich, but I mean, if they check, if they check Lich levels, he's level five. They can just go, and even the Pugna's level five. He's level six now. Level six on techies as well, but I mean not really too much of techies. And then it's and not very good. Can, has ulti and he can TP. Like they have a, they have the options. Rocket gonna go out onto BDR. Big Dick Riza. But yeah, let's see if they really want to dive this underneath the creep wave. He's just trying to bait them into techies mines. For the most part. Get another stasis trap. No, that's top uh, they, they just died for this. Itachi spiriting past the tower. Flares over here as well with the ice blast. Do they have enough damage on Itachi? Rocket flying through needs to get a little bit more burst damage. One more right click does get the kill. Shield just bringing him lower and lower the entire time. So Luka does drop and maybe the tier one next, especially when you have a Pugna too. This is going to be a lot easier. But yeah, like you said, Gyro just staying a way too long in the bot lane. I mean, it's his team fault too. They're not given an option to move top. Like the, the, the nature prophet should just tell him, "Let's fight bottom," or just, "I'm leaving." You can take top, something like that. He just so maybe he just stuck and he doesn't want to say anything. I don't know. So it's either like his team makes the call or he makes a call, and it looks like they both just do want do want to make the calls. He just say, "Okay." Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is this TP bottom? I don't know if this is the play. They want to try and contest this a bit more. Itachi just dodging the roll for now. The rocket is here, but he can dodge that as well with the slide of fist. XD trying to find a roll, but he doesn't get anybody with the stun. Stun through from Reggie instead. Snowball does go out onto Itachi, who's still way back here, but there's no ult on the Tusk. Not even another they rocket a, to follow they up. Can they can just keep diving. Silence goes in, but they get the kill instead. Or no, the that's actually move. the deny, but this still gives you the bounty for some reason. Yeah. Reggie going for the ultimate does not get it off just barely. So yeah, you lose good. the Lich as well as the Sand King. And it looks it like they could have won problem, this fight a little bit better, but losing those two, it's definitely a win for uh, Animal Control. And I they even get that kill too. Swashbuggle connecting from XD. Okay. And there's the tips out to Itachi as well. That's a okay. <laughs> Looks like the Anoam or something. Dire is still bottom. I mean, he, I guess he can stick down here now. They don't have the Sand King on it. I, mean, I think if the, maybe they get that off, the fight can go a lot differently. But uh, they kill Sand King before the ult comes out. And now the hero just kind of feels you got to farm a bit for your Blink Dagger now. Tachi running forward, trying to find AMPK. They are going to cancel the TP with the chains as well as the stun coming in from Sand King. Couple more right clicks going for a TP again. Not going to happen. Reggie getting the last hit there with the Sandstorm, I believe, and the tower gonna fall pretty much immediately after. Last hit going to Itachi. Okay, as a gyro mid, what I would do, I would just wait for the next wave. I'm gonna just ulti it and go. I still haven't seen him go to the jungle, like, at all yet. I'm kind of surprised. He's been very aggressive with his uh, farming patterns. He's trying to make space for Pango, I guess. I don't know. It would make a lot of sense if Naka was on this team. But uh, yeah, they don't have that other core that can really utilize the space. Uh, it's basically just Gyro for this team and maybe the NP, but he's not doing too much around the map either. I don't know, Nier. What do you go? Naga's pretty much had a free game. I think Bubba Bells has died once, but uh, I think he identified that he died once, right? And it's just, it's time to go to the jungle, going for the Manta first. Is yeah, that he, the right he immediately left the top lane. Oh, they might be able to kill Itachi here. Get the silence from the techies, immediate tips as well. Keep the train rolling. <laughs> Claire tipped him all every time he got tipped too. Like his teammate. <laughs> this is trying to keep him up, I guess. What do you go first on Inaga here if you've had... I, I would say relatively free game. Ever since that first kill, they, he's basically gone untouched well, on Bobo. That's Bell. the issue with Naga. Like, even if she gets Manta, she still can't fight. She still needs... Do you need, like, Manta more... defusal, probably? Or... I mean, she needs to defusal, and she can barely fight with it. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I'm not a Naga player. I don't play her that much. Mm -hmm. What do you get I'm past player, defusal? Uh, people, I've seen people go hard. Some people go abyssal now. I think Scotty can be argued for too, right? Oh, Abyssal Naga does feel pretty good. Abyssal is just a good item, even Spectre builds it now. No one, building, no one is building hard. Maybe we get a buff in the next patch. Because after the magic resistance, that doesn't exist with strength anymore. Mm -hmm. Heart just wasn't built on anyone. Because you used to see this heart built on like the PLs, or the Nagas, the Spectre. Yeah. Not, not anymore. That's I'm thinking why too, that with the buffs to Scotty, um doing the healing degen, like um could be argued for potentially. No, doesn't affect illusions though. Oh true, 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 true. That would be so legit. But unfortunately, yeah. So defusal affects illusions, but Scotty doesn't. That sucks. <laughs> when is defusal gonna get nerfed like that? I need to see it. Then PL would just be garbage. Stop, though, like... Oh yeah, no, I mean they're gonna change the build on him, he's not gonna be garbage, but he's not gonna burn your mana anymore. He could be pretty bad. You basically have to go Diffusal PL every single game, right? Maybe they're gonna change the build like the Manta Scotty, if that happens. Mm -hmm. Itachi is gonna get rocketed up, but he can just back. That's an ult from XD, expecting him to stay. 
But uh, yeah, he's just trying to cut down as much trees as possible now. Just feels points. like they're being a little bit suffocated. Like they aren't finding much farm on the map. I should go over to Networth. Yeah, it, it's literally just Belvavel completely on top. But like you said, he can't really join these fights until he gets a couple more items. Tachi still second place on net worth though, and he's definitely got a lot more space than uh, the gyro does. It feels like. Oh, he's the mid. He's making space now. This Naga just have her whole jungle to farm, while the gyro just scared and he's sharing his jungle with the Tango and Nature Prophet. I think uh, it just kind of made it so. In the draft, I think uh, I like Dyer had a little bit. Been, been top, just farming. No one tried to yeah, like he hasn't really been touched much either. That is a nice dodge there on the rocket illusion rune pop from Itachi. It feels like after the draft, maybe uh, Radiant had a quicker timing with the gyro pick as well as NP. But uh, now that we're into like the mid game here, Naga's just gotten so much space and gyro com not complete opposite, but obviously not as much. Still working on an Agnum's about 500 gold away. Oh, that rocket's still gonna hit Itachi. I didn't think we'd connect. He doesn't have a save out of here at the moment. He's got a little bit of save on top of him with the Lich Armor Kale, taking a lot of damage, running into the Sand King Sandstorm. Everybody dying in the mid lane. They just got annihilated by the Gyro. Meanwhile, the Naga like, just pushing bottom. Yeah, he doesn't even have to show up to this and they're getting team wipes. Alt pop from Reggie. I believe that was mostly his damage in that fight as well. Tipping you touch you. That's their goal. That's all that matters, dude. That's the one kill they needed. Yeah, they won. That's it. You can't call it now. Maybe they're waiting to spend all their tips then the I mean, they commit after the rocket hits, and they, like you said, they really just want to kill off Itachi, and it baits them into losing a fight. Sand King just going completely untouched has this blink now. Dude, got last hit on the tower, stun over into Amputee Silence coming in from the suicide, but it's not quite going to get the kill on anybody. Itachi's back in the mid lane too, popping that blade mail. He wants to jump back into Amputee. Maybe they can keep chasing him too. A couple of right clicks into Amputee. Go down goes the NP. XD with the ultimate four, but they don't quite see Sand King here. They have the dust popped, but he wants to keep chasing Itachi, who gets him with the mines. Go for the one kill that matters always. <laughs> it might as well keep the meme going. Yeah. Why not? Okay, not oh, Velvet Bell might just get a free kill right now. He's he so far doesn't now. even have time he can, to snowball. He can participate in fights. Oh, right. You can't snowball when you're rooted. No, right? Mine's completely blown too. Just on the Naga illusions. No eggs yet, 20 minutes in on Gyro. Okay, Naga illusions almost killed the techies. And yeah, dude, I, I don't know. It, it's 16 to 12, 11k gold lead for our FTG. I'm gonna get tired of saying that so much. Their name is just like, oh. Just wanna FTD, come on, FTD. Remove just Radiance from the game, right? Just just say Dire, I don't know. Yeah, but I gotta, it sounds more official if I say their team name. The Radiance team. The no, remove Radiance team. Remove Radiance. <laughs> I, I actually do like that. We don't need from the game. Obviously if it's Radiance. Radiance doesn't exist in any other game, ever. But yeah, Satoshi... I mean, he, despite being targeted by animal control, like, it, he's still 7-3-2. and two. I mean, most of his kill, most of his death, he just was running solo into the, the jungle, or the Radiant jungle. Or the animal's control jungle, if you want them to mm -hmm. quote that. Riza 2 is just TP top. He's going for what looks like a cloak. I always forget the name of this item. Glimmer Cape. Cloak always on my mind, but it is the Glimmer Cape. 
MPK maybe going for the silent sport. Sprout gonna hit. Has the silence, but it isn't even popping in yet. All forward from the Pango. Nice stun coming in from Reggie. He's saving Claire for now, but I still think Claire gonna tick down to XD rolling through. Jumps in from Itachi. Misses the chains, unfortunately. But Gyro in with a lot of damage. Riza trying to combo up that Gyro. The stun from Reggie. They might get the kill after, but down goes the Pugna. Not gonna find the kill. Luka gets the TP out. Silence as well. Over onto Itachi. Can he live? Nox just trapped himself on a cliff. I think he's gonna drop to the change unfortunate there for the techies they can keep chasing itachi couple of hits as well as the tank team from kl needs to spirit out might just be able to get a double kill here with the chains in comes velvavel with a couple of illusions down goes kl he's just gonna die to illusions velvavel didn't even need to rotate to this but he gets a double kill anyway itachi somehow lives and they all get baited at the end of the day 19 to 15 10k goldie now still velvavel going untouched i just don't yeah naga he is going for the heart by the way it does seem like the early build manta pop to purge off the silence mpk doesn't have a tp could go for it in a second here net up on velvavel in four and three and I think they can keep chasing for this potentially, but Kale's gonna be here as with a save. Sprout on top oh. of him. Snowball over into Velvavel, who gets He's mined done. up. They kill him off. Down goes Kale with the alt from Reggie afterwards. Ampicate going for the Sprout does get it off, but still gonna die. Obviously, Riza Pugna alt gives you vision. Now, where are these mines going off from? Is that on a creep? Yeah, it was a uh, gyro. XD with the alt forward. They want to try and find more stun in from Reggie. Actually misses, and I think he's just going to die afterwards. Techies mines are just going insane right now. They lose Riza mid, blink away oh, there's, from there's Reggie. The they don't have mention. He's got the mine there's on the cliff. cliff. Yeah. Oh, oh but he had it. He had it. Yeah. He walked right next to a mine. Maybe he just forgot. forgot in the trees? There, there. In the trees down here? Yeah. Yeah. And he just forgot. Oh, that is he going to fall into the trap? Is he going to fall into the trap? I don't think so. It's gonna be close. No, 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 no. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Okay, this tech is putting so many, so much, so much work now. He got basically. I mean, the Naga kill is huge. Unfortunately, they're not gonna find Reggie. But uh, dude, that's why you, it's a pro techies player. That's why they picked it. Like, Nox is it's might be here. MVP right now. Like. Easy the funny, thing, game. the funny thing, he has only 14% win rate this month in techies. Well, that's just because it's harder to play techies in pubs because your teammates Everyone are like, they it. don't, they're not paying attention to where your minds are at, so they won't bait people into them. When you're actually in a team environment, it's a little bit easier, surprisingly. Usually Tucky's just playing their own game. Oh, they go mid onto Luka with the chain, trying to pop the ultimate out, but he's just gonna use Blade Mail on Itachi and a couple right clicks coming out as well. The Spirit Board, MPK going with the silence onto Reggie, who's able to use it off, snowball through onto Itachi. He can use it off. So many yules in this game for the save. Chains over on the KL, and he's got no save left. Goes for the punch onto Reggie. Not really gonna save him though. Another jar who just feeds. Dude, it, it's Techie's core. I mean, Gyro is basically the off laner at this point. Mines, mines, mines. Yeah, not enough. I think just one. It, is it just the one? There is. Okay, yeah, they just have vision too. Okay. I... Dude, you never know. You gotta be ready for these things. It's a double sentry. Almost hard to know. Oh no. Oh, that's only one too. I'm getting shades of like Zai playing techies at ESL uh, years ago, honestly. Like, I've never seen techies win. You've never seen techies win? Techies, I mean, TI5 literally had to be banned every single game for I Aoi. Like, I start playing Dota when, at TI6. At TI6, okay. Wait, did whenever you go to TI6? No, no, whenever, sorry, whenever TI6 started. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like August of 2006. Although that's ruined now because we don't have TI this year, but... Feels bad, man. We'll have to just remember, oh yeah, it was perfect, TI-10 in 2020, but now it's, you know, it's all ruined. They might as well just say TI-11, honestly, just so we can keep it going. I mean, I'm not sure yet. If the, like, there's a TI at the start of the year. Will be there a TI, like, at, the, at August? Uh, no. They canceled it, dude. No, no, like at 2021. 
Uh, hopefully. I think that's the plan. I don't know when the timing is supposed to be. It would be, be like two, but... two TIs in oh, one year. Stun forward. KL getting caught out at the beginning of the spike. Does have a snowball save for now. Back onto the creeps. It's a hell of a play, but not quite going to get him out. He can just throw it right now. Uh, they have Pango ulti, though. I think that's what... I mean, Pango ulti as well as Gyro. But Gyro almost, like, melts himself to the uh, Ember. He almost got this in KV. Oh, that's uh, that's Velva Vel with heart now too, and Naga's incredibly hard to kill unless you're hitting like three or four mines on him. And I don't think we have enough stuns to keep her from using her song. Velva Vel's KD is three two two though. <laughs> so you never know, dude. Let's find out what could happen. I mean, he's gonna have an Aegis. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's probably Itachi. Velvavel just feels like he can't die, so why give him Aegis? Itachi's been the target of their entire team, so you might as well give him the uh, second life. Still 24 17, 13k gold lead. We're about 30 minutes into the game. I think uh, Velvavel pretty much just going untouched except for a couple of techies mines and counters. Let's say Gyro goes MKB after this. Oh no, he's going Maelstrom or he Mjolnir. Needs, he needs Mjolnir or Satanic now. And Butterfly maybe. Dude, he needs a Rapier honestly, especially if uh, Naga is going to have a Butterfly soon. He needs Satanic. He needs some survivability before he can do that. Radiance top tower. If he goes divine right now, he's fine. He's just gonna die. Blademan's gonna destroy him. There's a lot of D push here. So it's kind of hard for them to push. But, uh... Oh, Reggie's just stunning through, it looks like. They will have two PKBs in the next fight, and Gyro and Nature Prophet. Maybe that's gonna make a difference, I don't know. Wait, is a butterfly about to be up on Velvavel? Walking an illusion forward for space, clearing out the creep wave. Gyro just gonna use the ult on mid to clear out that one. Try and get some split push going bottom as well, but they are just gonna try and fight tops. Chains over onto XD, immediately getting that kill. The stun forward from Reggie, completely catching out the pango, and there's no buyback. That's a big ult gone, and they don't have the gyro ult for deep push right now either. Same thing for the NP ult. It's down for another 40 seconds, and if they found the timing, I think this is it. Remove Radiance. Hitting it strong, Velvavel throwing the net out onto Luka. He doesn't have a save for now, but he is going to pop the BKB a bit early. He's almost dodging with the Manta, the Snowball, but KL just going to drop to Illusions. Has to use so much save here with the Greater Fairy Fire. Techie's Mind's not doing much outside of Illusions. Itachi able to dodge some damage there with the Slide Abyss. Blinking forward is Nox. Maybe they can kill Itachi once, but again, they got to kill him twice. Naga able to run out with that heart. He's just going to regen immediately after this. Still Aegis up on Itachi, and they can just keep going. Pugna push is still strong. Creep Wave still here. Able to heal back up Itachi. Almost needs to be careful there. No, Kale wants to fight this. Blink into the back. Reggie gets the six shade Man, king ult on the two. I think they're just going to lose the techie immediately afterwards as well. What a play from Reggie. They lose the gyro. And there's no buyback on him either. XD has to use the alt forward. Maybe hitting Itachi. No, he's able to dodge it with the slide up fist. Stun four from Reggie. He gets the damage, but he doesn't get the stun. Still Aegis on Itachi, and they are looking strong going high ground, not faltering at all. Do you think Itachi meant that he just wants to be in front of them to bait him out? Nature's Prophet trying to de-push, but uh, I think they're just going to lose two sets of cracks. Not really too much they can do to save. <laughs> that is a egg is gone. Unfortunately for Itachi, they did end up having to use it. Almost losing no lice for this high ground take, but look at MPK bottom trying to make space. I don't really know how much it's going to do. At maybe you get some tier three damage, but they do lose all of the racks top. Mid lane, it's looking like they're gonna lose melee into range. Gyro up in eight seconds, but they can just pop Nagas on here and back. Gyro does have the BKB to counter it. Mine's popped on the back, doesn't connect with anybody. Range rack's still gonna live for now. Snowball forward onto Velva Vel. Kale actually is a little bit caught out. MPK with the BKB running forward. Luka using BKB as well. No the, just running at them with these BKBs. They don't actually have any catch. Completely wasted for the most part. Claire is going to drop. 
So at least you get a kill with it. XD with the roll forward does get the slow onto Velvavel, but they can just turn on top of him with the chains as well as the net afterwards if they wanted to go on to KL. A couple of right clicks, down goes Tusk. Jumping forward, Itachi once more. They try and find Luka. He doesn't have a buyback yet again. 70 okay. seconds down on the gyro. And I believe that was an illusion rune pickup too. And, uh, yeah. yeah, illusion rune. <laughs> That's probably the best rune you can hope for on a Naga at this point. Like, actually, was that Ember that picked it up though? I think it was. For the bottle, maybe. Yeah. But still, an incredible fight for remove radiance. Like they only lose one hero for two lanes of racks, and you look at bottom; it barely lost any health at all. I don't know, Jaru just used his BKB, killed the Lich, and just kept going for no reason. We'll see how they want to continue, and I think Belvo is going to take a bit of damage. Nope, he is fine. I mean, this is where it starts to feel pretty good playing Inaga into a tech. He's like, look at the Isn't illusion, like just tanking mines. Mid when you have BKB and Nature Profit, you have to be more aggressive. Mm -hmm. like in towers. Well, it's like he it's just like... popped it there and they ran at them, but well, their catch is no, no, like I mean, in the, Tusk. When, he's, when he pushes side side lanes now, he's just like mm -hmm. hiding in the trees still. Okay. No, like he, can, he can't like, be aggressive because he can just always be 3 people. Unless they bring like three heroes and they chain lock him. I mean, is, there, is there initiation here just waiting on Reggie? Do they really want to push this without an Aegis? There's no mines yet. That's the there chance. isn't. Reggie's actually playing very aggressive right now. They don't have any vision over here. Can't really see too far. XD baiting out the ult in the back lines. Maybe trying to find Reggie. Cancel out an ultimate, but doesn't actually hit him. Belvavel is going to get stunned up by the snowball. Might go for a hit. Reggie going for the ultimate. Is going to get a nice stun over into the techies. Brings down Nox immediately, so they don't have that silence. They've also lost Kale. Luke is going to be the next target. Asked about the BKB to get out of here. MPK might just die to right clicks, which he will do. Spirit forward Itachi, that Sprout not gonna save you. GG called by XD. Go into game two with a pretty uh, decisive victory for Remove Radiance. They might even kill off the Gyro to finish it. Hell of a game from Belbabel. The Itachi destroyed mid. Belbabel just farmed, knew how to dodge the lane. Gyro just kept feeding. Dude, what is it with gyros and dying? You know? People overestimate how strong the hero is. And it's, it's really squishy. It's just, you, you have this power spike with Rocket Barrage early that you want to take advantage of, but then it's like you have to dive so far and uh, gyro just sticks in a lane too long and then he dies. Like Hero feels like kind of a trap pick. I mean, people do not try to help him though. I don't know. He's not a self-sufficient hero. Major Prophet did not just TP whenever he whenever he got his six and helped him to just destroy the lane. Now I got TP top and he just did not follow her. He just kept staying. He kept TPing bottom and dying. Uh, lobby for game two is up. By the way. I mean, Naga basically goes untouched outside of a couple of kills. 8, 2, and 7 on the Naga. 13, 3 on Itachi Ember. And of course, like a lot of that coming from the early game, too. He found those two kills before 10 minutes and up to 4 and 0 oh on 9 minutes. Tried to get focused from there. But like, at still... 10 minutes, Jar actually was not really behind the Naga. It was only 300 gold behind. Itachi. So he was like 1600 above the. Mm -hmm. oh, I think the, the laning stage did feel pretty even for the most part. Except for mid, yes. I mean, top one, they killed the Sanking like three times. Then Tekis came bottom and he actually killed the Naga. But then Jaro just stayed bottom. He just didn't know how to leave.
feels like every time I see a Tusk now, he just plays you from behind and uh, loses the game. Yeah. Dude, I like the offlane Tusk, if anything. Like, Yeah, today the S1 offlane Tusk winning. It's legit, dude. You can, I feel like it, it's just the hero you gotta play aggressive with, if anything. You don't want to just want to sit in a lane and like pull and stuff. You gotta be... Yeah, I played against an offlane Tusk once, and our supports were just food for him. And you just keep killing them over and over. We had like a Skywrath, which Doctor supports or something. And they just couldn't do anything against them. I believe we are going to be jumping into game too soon, but I didn't see what they picked for your side though. I'm just going to grab a drink. We'll be back. All right. Gonna be going into it. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. All right, one second. I'm just looking through. Okay. Ten seconds remaining. Game. Oh yes, they marked the victory. Let's go. Respect. But it is one o four. Remove radiance. They are gonna take dire yet again. I believe they. It's the same as last game, right? They had second pick. Or no, they had first pick last game. They were dire last game and they had first pick last game, so that's the only thing that is changing. Radiant team ban. Just gonna get through the force more fans. So I I like the techies ban. They're just like screw it, we're not playing against that again. Like Dire Team Ban. Screw this. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. <laughs> Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Alright, I'm back. Uh, cool. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, we just chilling. Radiant team pick. All right. Dire team pick. Coddle. How did that not get banned? Is it still good? I no. Like, I, I, I like am actually not banned. too surprised it got through, honestly.
Ten seconds remaining. I hate it whenever Kato was meta. I, I don't like Five to play Dude, the heroes that alt, he wants to play. The alt chains is definitely interesting. Dire team pick. It just feels so weak in lane. He only can buy in light, doesn't do anything else. Gives you some mana, that's it. His right clicks are trash. Like, I never had success with a hero in my lane. Unless, like, I'm playing Bristol. Other than mm -hmm. that, it's just trash. What do you feel about the Bane? Bane? I think it's a strong hero. He can't stop the offlaner from, like, you know, pulling the waves and the tower because he can sleep him. Has a decent armor, decent damage. His ult is really good. Oh god, so loud. I, I do like the Bane a lot though. Um, first picking it seems worthy. Like, I don't know if it's too I mean, huge. But... Here, huh? like, if they want to counter him, they can just counter a pause five, I guess. But in lane, he's gonna stay strong. Brain sap and his damage is, is really good. Me and Brightside were doing the the Bane Luna a lot in pubs. Mm -hmm. and just never lost lane. Luna seems like in a really good spot right now, too, to be honest. Yeah. Her aura gives so much damage. Radiant With the helm build, it's just so much damage. She's good for this meta, where you just 5 man run down lanes. And she farms really quickly too. And she also has nukes, like a good, good hero role. And people are just starting to start doing the... Getting the cast range as level 10, and the cooldown level 15 is actually so annoying to play against. Seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Mars pick up in the second pick too. I do like the Kato Mars um, combined together. I, I they're kind of counterintuitive because usually you want people to shove into the uh, the Mars wall to get a little bit more damage that way. And Kato's just going to bring you towards the center, but at least you know everybody's going to be stuck in there. So Ten two circles. Remaining. Or it's genius because then you can do the Venn diagram. I mean, you can also buy right in the middle of the wall. Call it is strong. Then Earthshaker as well coming out from our. I kind of like Animal Control's opening a bit better here. Um, maybe they go for a Marana or something on our. our... I thought maybe that's their second pick to be honest, but. Radiant team pick. Here are you. Bruh. <laughs> it's almost like I've been casting way too much. <laughs> Although that's probably a pretty easy pick up. Okay, easy combo there. Okay, I didn't like this duo support. You don't like this duo support? No. Rubik Rubik you don't have a lot of lockdown. It's literally, you have to rely on Rubik stealing stuff from Earthshaker. Which, I mean, is pretty reliable, but... Either way, it's not like a lot Ten available up remain. front. Radiant team pick. I mean, he's good against Shaker, but let's see. Okay, Ursa. Just build out of Fury. Mm -hmm. Sanjay, so Satanic, and run up people. Dude, what is with Ursa Battle Fury? You freaking carry players are going insane. I'm not sure. I, I still didn't play it. Like, I didn't play Ursa in a long time, but I think what they do, I think why they just start using it because they moved the mana talent to level 15. So he actually doesn't have any mana region, and he actually farms so quickly with the Battle Fury. All I've heard good. is that it's like, oh, you get the, yeah, you get the mana regen, the damage you get from it is very nice, like the extra attack speed, you can farm so much quicker, or so it has like a lot of burst damage, and getting a Battle Fury, picking it up is going to make him like one of the and building the status is, And he actually does not need the items to do damage, it's like if, even without, like even with just boots, he can just do damage if he gets it out from someone. So he might as well just go out of here. 
I'm not sure if I'm happy to see it. I feel like it's uh, like if I built it, if I was building Battlefield two weeks ago in Ursa, everyone's gonna flame me, but now it's good. I don't know. Radiant team ban. Radiant team pick. All right, Lycan is really good against me. Mm -hmm. Just send those all those pesky little team pick. pesky little creeps Vinyl at Bane. Nuts. Unless Bane gets eggs. That's legit. Okay. Vinyl carry. Is that the Ursa counter? Is it an Ursa counter? I guess you just kite him. You can find him and just keep slowing him, I guess. But it was it used to be good against the blink Ursa. Not against Ursa, I think. Remaining. Whenever Urso just rushing blink first item. Five seconds remaining. That's Venom was really good against it because he just always not doesn't allow him to blink. Urso does not go blink anymore. He has this cute jump you and he has status resistance and he can purge your gill. I don't know. Follow it up with Queen of Pain, which I actually saw Queen of Pain being banned a lot, like early on in our yeah, drafts last people, night. Like, yeah, because they have a I think Strikers was banned because their offlaner plays it, so they can pick it and flex it between mid and offlane. So it was an annoying option to play against. And she does so much damage. He's one of the better heroes this patch. Well, I, I mean, usually you see it like first two picks too, though, because like again, you can flex it really easily, but uh, it's going to show up as the last pick here. It thought she was going to last pick his hero when he has last pick. Yeah. It's good into the bars, like it's good into Coddle, just blink out of the ultimate, don't have to worry about it. Obviously, you don't want to get blinked to a Rubik, but uh, if it happens, it happens. Same thing too, they have a decent amount of chase for like, and I don't know if they have too much lockdown of, oh yeah, they do. They have Bane or Shaker, Marana, like they should have enough. We'll see if they want to roam like Bane and Marana together though. Like how are they going to lane this? Looks like it's a mid, XD is playing the Venom, maybe he's mid again. It's off lane or Shaker in a three position. I think maybe you run Bane, Marana bottom with the Earth Shaker to start and then uh, Bane just runs top potentially. I mean, Bane can just run with them top and leave the Ursa bottom by himself. Does he run Ursa bottom though? Against the Mars? Oh, you wanted to oh, run the legit, Ursa against... legit. Yeah, yeah, everybody died. Well played, Animal Control. Well played. And they don't have it equipped. I like this one for sometimes because it shows you the stats. The other one does not. Trade. It is a good mix. It's not always. Oh my god, of course, we're getting these. Okay, the, the classic pause. Everybody Dude, we haven't there. had as many server issues today as we did yesterday, though, unfortunately. After casting for eight hours yesterday and having somebody DC like every 15 minutes, like. I'm not really sure what we're waiting on, though. Maybe they just want to play the pause games. Anyway, XD. On that Veno, Luca is going to be on the Lycan, of course, playing the carry. And PK on the Mars. KL, Rubik, and oh, Nox D on the Coddle. Like the yeah. yeah, it's a mid Mars. XD potentially going off lane then. Maybe you run Ursa mid. Is that the play? Velvavel. Ursa versus not. Mars. Oops. I don't think it's a good matchup for him. But they can run it against the Lycan if you want. So it's going to be a Rubik Veno lane. So maybe other option you can do is uh because you know the Shaker should not be should not die bottom, right? Into like Kyle Lycan, like, I don't think he dies. So what you can do is just try lane the Veno. <laughs> Veno really wants levels. Mm -hmm. Well you can't just... Okay. 
I mean, you try to land the top and you keep like maybe sleeping in the Rubik, kill him, sleeping the Venom. It's not always a good option just to let Urusa to the other lane. Sometimes you can just try lane with him. Protect him. Like, let's say they try lane top and who they're gonna see? Their try is gonna be Venom, Coddle, Rubik. I don't think that's strong. I think Bamiron is much stronger than that. Wow. Bane got it every single time. That's a hell of a play from Claire. Yeah, they are going to do the Morana Bane starting bottom, though, with the smoke. Maybe Vavavel going to follow. Okay, looks like four people going top now. Uh, yeah. They could still find Ampy K, but I think he's going to be running man to place a ward, and they're not going to spot this either unless Itachi gets the ward out first, which he does have the smoke. So he might have just seen it, but I think he placed it from the trees, so. Oh, is he going to do next level, go for the D ward right now? He doesn't have a sentry, but he could stand over there. I think we saw that once in your games last night. Uh, I forget who did it, though. Which which, which was it? Uh, standing right here to get the D ward. Uh, if you're dire playing into Radiant, since... Uh... Um, if that happened, that's good, but I didn't pay attention to <laughs> Ah, okay. It might have been in somebody else's games. It might have been in the earlier games. I can't remember. Yesterday is a blur. Yes, yesterday was us just standing on this cliff when we found the Monkey King. Where were the horses standing now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I do remember this now. Walking into my inten my heroes. intention was My intention was for them just to stand there and uh, gank the rune. But I don't want to send with me. And just it happened that monkey. And just it happened that monkey just was also That's trying to rap on me. And just uh, we, they caught him. I think Reggie goes for the block here potentially. There's nobody in this lane. Like okay. uh, I think they were trying to scout out potentially. Maybe they still think that maybe they still think, think that Ursa dodged and he's going bottom. They will see Rubik rotate down, I believe, but it's still a bit yet. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unless he meant to do that. Reggie did miss the block, like, slightly. No. Mm -hmm. Worked out. It still gets underneath the tower. And, yeah, these lanes still very weird. XD actually just running bottom. They want to get the matchup. Ursa into Lycan, it looks like. Uh, don't you want to put the Venno in the Ursa lane, though? I think that's what they thought. They thought is because Ursa did not show top after the random four people top. They didn't see Ursa, and they thought maybe Ursa is going bottom, so they just assumed that Ursa is going bottom, so they sent the like on top. <laughs> they get, so they now it's it. not the favorable matchup then, right? Like they... No. It's, it's so much better for Ursa now. Same what Lycan can do for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, Carlo can blinding light him, that's it. Bane can easily 1v1 the Carlo if he wants. Okay, who's drawing the lines? Dude, we're playing tic tac toe. There's somebody is. Uh, somebody just won. Nobody's actually trying to compete. <laughs> You can play if you want. Let's go. Alright, alright. This is a terrible start. I put no thought into this. Wait, I just won. Wait, did, did I? What the fuck am I doing? Oh okay, yeah, okay. I did. No, fuck! No, and I go over no, here dude. instead. Fuck, dude! I lost the, <laughs> your circle. I forgot where you played. <laughs> okay, let's... Also, everybody's like drawing over this at the moment. I mean, right, let's go. It's always, it's always the corner. I feel like you just can't. Do you know the tech? You do know the tech. All right, it's a cat's game. One second. Seven Discord issues, but we will get back into it. A couple of pauses at the beginning of this.
Yeah, but a little bit better lane for Velvavel top. He doesn't have the Urshock quite yet. Uh, did go for the Fury Swipes, but I think that's definitely still the play here. They can't really commit for a kill too much onto the Lycan, but he is going to take a lot of harass here. And in fact, if he didn't have that Urshock, that would be pretty dangerous. We do get a TP talk from Rubik as well, so it might just be a tri-lane versus tri-lane aggressive. At the moment, uh, maybe they can find a courier, but so far they are going to leave Riza bottom on the Marana, but it feels like he could rotate top and... I'm sure he just rotates top and we kill them every time. Yeah. I don't know if you want to leave Urshaker alone into a Veno. That was the only thing. Hmm. Can they kill the Veno, though, with Marana here? All right. Looks like she's even ready. Riza hits this arrow mid and they get a kill or not. Wow, what's going to happen? <laughs> He got, mm, He's popped the salve, but they could still find the kill if he hits an arrow, I think. Still level 2 and clap. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's a little bit too far underneath the tower, and he needs to throw it, like, right now. And I don't think he's getting it. Nope. Unfortunate. It's a good try, though. Might be able to find the courier instead. A couple right clicks from Riza. One more, and gets it. Doesn't even have to walk underneath the tier yeah. two tower. Nice play there from Riza. I'm sure he didn't even pay attention to it. I thought he would suspect it because the arrow literally just came through the lane. Yeah, I think he just like walked there and he just uh, was surprised. Okay, we walk towards top now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they ha they don't have the Nightmare quite yet, but he did just pick it up. They might just use it on the KL. There's the Nightmare into the arrow. A save coming in from Noxty. He's got the pushback to make a little bit of space so they can't dive too far. Urshock's slowing him up. Velvavel's taking a lot of damage. Can't really commit too hard, but is gonna I'm find the first blood sure instead. One. Might die afterwards, so has to be a little bit careful, but he's got two fairy fires to survive. And they can't really chase any further. Velvavel is gonna pop a salve and be a-okay. First so why blood. did Rubik just... What do you mean? What, what? Rubik should have just ran away. He just kept fighting. I mean, maybe they think they get the turn onto the uh, Marana if they get the Blinding Light, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think they can just go for it again, too. This is a really aggressive play from Nox. Like, uh, Reason potentially just going to rotate mid, and I think we, we just want to watch this Marana, honestly. They have Vision. On Marana rotating back, arrow to come through is just gonna go farm the creeps for a bit. And be just, I mean, I think Veno is okay with this too though, right? You said Veno wants a lot of levels. It is a solo lane now. Yeah, Veno is, gonna, is having a good time. Shaker is also having a good time, looks like. MPK hits the arrow. Mid lane and he's getting destroyed again. Yeah. Tachi playing either. incredibly well. Do you think we see as many tips? Oh, and this is another courier from Riza too. The snipe god. Nox might get nightmared right now. They have to be so careful. This arrow coming through. Somebody needs to block it. It is going to be no. It still connects. The wolf doesn't actually hit it. Lift over blinding like not going to happen. Maybe they can get some return damage into Riza, but it, it's not going to really amount to much. Riza making the plays early, and this is really what you want to see from your Marana, because usually he doesn't have too much of an impact later on into the game. Luka taking a decent amount of damage. Let's see how much they can actually commit, though. There's the blinding light back. Does not have any kind of regen he, he on Lycan. Yeah, he can run, run at him again. Riza's Probably actually rotated already. back top, too. Looking for another arrow, but Noxty is going to be over here. Arrow just missing. I mean, he has the bane to set up for him, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, and he's got four mangoes too, interestingly enough. Are right, just gonna save the nightmare for now since the arrow's still on cooldown. Bounties goes towards Riza, and he is just making so many big plays right now. Bottom lane, Reggie's gonna be able to get both bounties as well, so that's four bounty runes going the way of Remove Radiance. Might see the arrow again. There's the nightmare, but no, they just commit instead. Getting the kill onto Luca, making sure the blinding light wasn't gonna come out. Good rotation there. Oh, just a good coordination there, really. I mean, he could, could have taken out. He could have aggroed with his wolves. 
Well, get rid of the nightmare with the wolf so yeah. he can use the blinding light. The blinding light, jeez. Yep. Yeah. Just destroyed my throat. Um. Rotation bottom potentially. Reggie's dropping a little low, but he's kind of tanky. I don't think he actually dies here. We do get the stun through the arrow, not gonna connect though. He's, he just like, he uses his arrows and he's just not waiting for any stuns. Mm -hmm. Like he could have just waited for every trick to stun him. I think he, arrow. yeah, he gets a little bit closer there too, but XT with already the level three plague lords. Popping the salve too. He's, I might be able to find a regen Itachi. He's just gonna pick this up though. I think, no, he's running over for the bottom. Another arrow flying through, but it connects with the catapult. Still gonna get a rotation. Bottom Itachi just able to blink into this. I think he's just gonna blink into the trees too. They really want to find this kill. Going for the TP again. They get the cancel. No, the fissure isn't up. Immediately he has to TP back mid. And instantly tipped. Itachi does anything tipped. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, he's playing out of his mind right now. Even still, mid lane going very well for the Quap. And Arrow actually over into KL, trying to steal the outpost back. He rotated bottom, but not actually going to get the kill. Or an, get the overtake, I guess. Well, I can lift to jungle now. Game is hard. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Still XD just pushing into the tower bottom. I mean, he hasn't gotten too much damage to it, surprisingly. I thought he might have pushed it a bit more. It looks like they've kind of just abandoned the Lycan lane, too. He's just rotated over to the jungle. Yep. Mars also did the same thing. That's looking bad. Yeah, I might just rotate over to try and find some kills inside the jungle. And we'll see Reggie maybe get a stun up. That's the ultimate use, but the arrow again. It's just no follow-up. He's waiting until way after the stuns. I think it was just on cooldown too, so they didn't quite hit the timing right. Yeah, they're not coordinating well enough. This Rubik is all... He's so sad though. Look at him. Level 3. And well, still 3 0. They haven't found any kills on the side of animal control. And it feels like they need to make something happen with the Mars alt here. MPK potentially looking for Velva Velva. Oh, they did it. They did it, Bottle. They got the combo off. Oh, they, yeah. There we go, and he's gonna actually. They all they needed was the fissure. Can they kill Ursa? It doesn't feel like they can. Like even if he wants to use the ultimate here, he's looking for no, the spear Ursa. gets into a tree. But yeah, the mid, the mid is trying to gank. They want to go on Claire instead, looking for the TP. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. That's the first kill for animal so, control. It feels bad when you're mid. Oh, spear miss. They use Marzo top immediately getting blown up on the Kato. Itachi has another blink oh. in four seconds, but I don't think he's going to survive long enough. He rotated to this way too soon. Velvavel doesn't quite have the damage. He doesn't have a single stack and overpower yet. Arrow is going to miss. At least he killed off the creep there, or at least the uh, the Lycan uh, wolves and the Necro book units. Triple Decent kill. amount of gold. Triple kill for Luca, but dies immediately afterwards. And I don't think Riza is going to die either. It's getting the TP away, no stun. Six to three, and that's a really good fight. Luca still had the alt up after Atachi blinked in, so he can just run him down. I believe that is a level one blink, so the cooldown is just ridiculously yeah, long. 14 seconds. But it was funny whenever the Mars tried to gank the Ursa, and Mars was lower level than... They're going to get both outposts here, too. That's really good. Something going good for radio. Yeah. Finally. After a bit of a slow start, maybe they've turned it around. It is six to three. A little that's a decent sized gold lead. About a two K gold lead, Ursa and Quap on top. Stun over into KL, not coming with the Nightmare though. So they need to try and find that arrow yet again. I don't think Marona's quite close enough for the follow-up. Maybe they can find it on the Luka though, if they want to use the Nightmare. 
Arrow coming through. Does connect onto the Rubik. There is a nice save. Hitting the Fissure. Blocking out Luca, but he can just walk oh, up no, to the high ground. Itachi wants to run forward into this. Luca might be a little bit not safe here, but the rest of the team isn't here to it's back up Itachi. He does have to back now. Maybe he's got that Gale up, but they don't want to use it into a Marana. Reggie's still working on a Blink Dagger too. It's just going to TP back to base. They don't have too much lockdown outside of the Mars. Like, like you said, again, it's literally a Cuddle Alt, a Rubik Lift, and Mars Spear. Not too much in terms like of they options. Have to, they have to hit... They only can fight every time these abilities off cooldown, like the Arena and the Cuddle Ulti. Mm -hmm. They can play around that if they want. I mean, Cuddle Ulti cooldown is pretty long, too. It's 130. Like, I mean, it's the same It's the same cooldown as the Lycan's Ulti, almost. The level 1 Ulti. So they can just play around it. Whenever all the Ultis are up, so you just can push out push out the lane, maybe. Try it. Especially that they know that the Ursa is farming now. He's not trying to fight. Mm -hmm. I think they can first an objective. But this Rubik being level 5 still is a problem. Out stun. He's gonna get comboed as well. He's on the other side of the finisher, but I still think they have enough damage. He even uh, uses the ultimate for that. Echo slam gone. I guess maybe. Okay. Wait, no. Maybe he's he going. Was... It looks like he was too scared that he's gonna lose the kill, and the... anyways, he lost. Is he rushing <laughs> eggs on Earthshaker? Like. Good idea. Yeah. Outside so the he... blink, he had 1400 gold, but instead going for eggs. Like, I thought he was just gonna rush for the blink. I mean. It's not a bad idea against Venom to go eggs. Oh, and we do get the bounty too. Yeah, that was weird last game. The uh, the bounty actually going off for denied techies, but. Surprised that came. Dude, I've actually gotten bounty kills in my own games and like they don't count. And then like five minutes later after the bounty expires, it'll give me the reward to another hero. Like, I, I, there's I think, something weird I with think, it. I mean, when you select the bounty, you're not the one who should kill the hero. What? Your team, your team should kill him. You only can kill... Like, let's say... I'm not sure who, so who chose the bounty. Oh, God. Oof. Yep. Oof, that is definitely some tips, <laughs> I think. I mean, they tip him for just, like, trying to do anything. I'm sure they're gonna tip him for that. <laughs> just unfortunate there from Itachi, and they also bring down the Earthshaker top. They're still pushing this yeah, into the tier 3 zone. That's, that's, I just think he didn't that's, expect that's it. That's good. After using their Earthshaker ulti med, they should have done that. That's, that's really good. Bovavel's still just farming up too. He is working on that battle fury, like you said, and like Ziffer was saying yesterday too. It's the it's the flavor of the minute. Yep. You mentioned. Let's hope it gets nerfed so I do not have to play the hero. Dude, battle fury Ursa. It sounds like a meme, but it also sounds fun, right? Like. Might just go again onto Noxty. He has another scream up in a bit, but he's gonna go for the blink away. It's still a level one blink, so it takes a long time. Actually get out. Reggie's TP down, and they don't want to commit too much further on the uh on the Venomancer, who doesn't have an ult. Reggie running in. Ult in 30 seconds. They use the Murano ult, but I don't think he can actually find this kill. Just gonna play it safe. Meanwhile, mid, they will jump in onto KL. Lift is there. He's got an Earthshock in another two seconds, though, and he looks pretty dead. Trying to escape with an Earthshock of his own is getting slowed up by Luka with the Necro units. Nothing really too much after that. It's already a level three Necro book as well. He, yeah, he's, he's, he's second yeah. Necro. He's I mean, good. is it still the play? You just skip boots on Lycan? Like, he is now getting brown boots. Yeah, and people have been doing it in Beastmaster too. I think it makes more sense to do on Lycan. <laughs> Just because, like, I mean, he's got the move speed ultimate anyways. I don't know about Beastmaster, but... Uh, but Bell, Bell, Bell almost got the Battle Fury. I think, the, I mean, that basically almost gives him it. Yeah, it does, actually. 
a single dagger book unit is going to give him that uh, battle fury to finish it anyway. Maybe looking for the nightmare from Claire, but I think they have vision on the bane. It's a little bit of a smoke, but they don't have any kind of blink initiation. They have to just run in with the Mars, yes. hoping that remove radiance over commits radiance to a fight mid. This Mars mid lane has lower net worth than Mirana 4. Which is yikes. Oh, I am on hero level for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was definitely a rough start though. Kind of got bodied mid by Itachi. And it's not exactly the greatest matchup for Mars either. They do see Mars on the high ground, I believe. They are using the Bane ult. They need to get the stun here. In from the Coddle Arrow. Not going to connect. No, it hits over onto the Lycan. They get the sleep onto Itachi. He's going to pop the ult, though, keeping them back. Them. Luka them. does get a kill in the meantime with the Necrobook units. They bring down Itachi as well. Immediate tip in the middle of a fight. How do you have time for that? Velvavel jumping back in with the ultimate. The sleep is going to be there, unfortunately, for Velvavel because he wanted to focus him a bit faster. Starstorm is going to bring down Velvavel. Double kill for him, but he I dies immediately after. Archie played there so badly. He just blinked. He ulted and blinked in. I don't know why. He just blinked into four, four or five heroes. Yeah, especially when he's caught out in the middle of the Mars ult. There's he doesn't have any items to save himself yet, and still level two blink. Still, they have the lead. They did find three kills there. And I think, uh, wait, I mean, I didn't see the fight recap, but I'm pretty sure that fight goes a little bit, it's leaning more towards animal control. I don't have those kills registered on the thing yet. Oh no, it's, yeah, we're good. We're gonna claim the outpost back. I mean, what do you what do you do Ursa Battle Fury again? Is it seriously? I mean, he's going S and Y after just to get like the extra status res. Yeah, then Satanic can you just have so much status resistance with your ulti. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like they want to try and find XD. So hard, you can't just you just can't die. So it'll be really hard to kill you whenever you get these two items. Oh, they saw this rotation somehow. I think they saw it with this mid war too, because they saw him run through here with the Marana ultimate. Did have a smoke on top of it, but they're just not going to find it. Potentially just spotting out Marana. They know that a ward of some kind is there. Ping's coming out galore. And we'll find a decent D ward there, but the rest of the Radiant team, uh, Animal Control knows they want to fight. I do have their ultimates back up. Lycan as well as Coddle as well as Mars. Mars has the decently low cooldown though. Riza going for the steal is taking a lot of damage from the Necro units, but also get a Bane ult used. They lose Mars immediately. Nothing was there to cancel the Bane ult this time, and it's a way better fight for Remove Radiance. Lycan ult popped already. <laughs> Vampire Fang's on the ground too. I don't think anybody actually picked these up. They're just sitting there. Nobody actually yeah, realizes just... that they're sitting on the ground. Coddle might need to pick them up too. He got them with his creeps. <laughs> yeah, he, nobody notices. Nox is right next to them and he doesn't see them either. They're blocked by a tree. They're right oh. behind this tree and nobody realizes it. I think with the ward, they potentially see it right there, but no, Velvavel is going to walk right next to it too. They have the advantage. Cuddle all being used. Pushback as well. Velvavel can purge it off. They just want to focus up the spirit here. There's the Mars up with a nice quap off follow up as well as the stun from Reggie into the ultimate. Oh. Everybody getting locked down. Mars all pushing Velvavel back, so he can't quite get the Mars right away. Now they see the vampire fangs just sitting on the ground. Claire's taking a lot of damage from these Necro units here. He's pinging them out. He wants to pick them up. There's the steal. Nightmare onto himself, so he's going to take a little bit of damage after this. Necker units are still causing such a scare for Claire. Spear over does not connect onto a tree, but I think Velvavel <laughs> might just block him up. He <laughs> needs to go for the slow onto the units. Velvavel, turn around and earth shock, and I think he can get it, but no, he waits just a bit too long. Arrow over is going to miss. Now Velvavel wants to keep chasing. They just let their bane die for the most part. Blinking forward, they want to bring down the Necker unit. One more right click is going to do it. Itachi tanking a lot of damage, but he really doesn't care too much. Books already back up. It's the wolves running at them. Velvavel might get lifted up here, but he has the ultimate. If they want to turn it, blink up in three seconds for Itachi. Kale could potentially steal it, but no, he's going to steal the arrow instead. Throwing it four does not hit onto Itachi, fortunately. Arrow himself doesn't connect from Riza. 0 for 2 on both teams.
And yeah, dude, that was just the strangest thing. I thought we'd see Velvapau at least try and save Claire from getting ran down. But it just doesn't happen, and now they look for a smoke. XD running forward, misses the Gale, I believe. Yeah, the Gale was missed. Arrow forward onto the Marana, leap to dodge. They do get the spear over onto Bane, locked down Marsalt as well onto two. But Vavel's a bit caught in the middle of this, but he still has the ultimate to pop, which is essentially, I mean, it's basically the big save. Vavel can keep jumping forward onto XD. A couple more hits does bring down the Venno, but he's almost completely going to die afterwards. Arrow to follow that up as well, making sure Vavel goes down. Doesn't have a leap away on Riza. Riza's going to drop to KL with the Fade Bolt. Maybe they want to keep chasing. It's a buyback from Claire popping the alt over onto the Luca or Luca yeah he did buy back there they get the kill onto like and Atachi even gonna use the alt for Actually, it if, I, if it's actually the alt he killed that uh, pure damage creep or whatever it's called the necrobook creep he would have died Quap dies fortunately there it doesn't happen and well it's still a nice fight they do have to use the buyback and again i keep missing the fight i mean cap, it, is, but... it is a good buyback yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah they get the kill on the like and i think that might be like one of his er looks Four like orsa just dies whenever he uses his enrage though yeah do anything i mean it's just ursa and an necro right like you pop your all that doesn't purge anything as soon as it's over it's just you can't live you gotta get like a bkb or something and he does notice that but it feels pretty bad going bkb on ursa You'd rather just get these status res items instead. Because he, what, well, he's sitting on a naked Yasha right now, and I think he wanted to go SNY. Feels like maybe they need Roche before taking another fight. I mean, he can take Roche right now. He has Vampire Fangs. Mm hmm. The issue is too like is getting closer. I mean, and closer. especially that they used every ulti. I mean, they have the cut ulti back now. Claire maybe walking over into the Roche pit. Uh, they do have Murano ult again inside, but obviously Luca can scout it out. Teams wants Roche on, and they should just make a smoke play in the Radiance and try to take it, take a fight. They do have a Sentry Ward near it too, so they cannot just walk into it. With the Murano alt. Ward outside as well, getting that vision on the inside. I think both teams are kind of realizing that is the uh, next big objective outside really of towers. That's also really good for Ursa. Arrow, I don't think it's going to come through. I mean, they still don't have a blink on Mars. How do they want to initiate this fight if they do pop a smoke? Like, they're basically just walking in and force staffing a Venno. Radiance top tower is under attack. Also, I didn't realize Marana has this long of a uh, attack I range. Feel, I, feel, I feel like Radiant easily can force this rush fight, especially that there's no BKBs in Dire. Mm -hmm. They can just like try to rush, and if they want to fight them, they have all their ultimates, and they can't fight into them. I don't know how they lose the fight. So I think they just need to force rush on. That's what I would do right now, if it was Radiant. And Dire is not really in the same position, right? Because, I mean, Radiant I mean, Animal Control has the Coddle, like they have the Venno, Mars. Dire just smoked now. They can they get, get a kill. Bane is going. Looks uh, really like they it. do get the nice scan, but I think they see them over here. There's going to be a cancel alt coming in from Claire. Do they have the burst for the like and they can try and turn it? Yes, they do. You're going to lose the life of the Bane afterwards. I believe, but that's stolen alt from Quap. Lycan for a Bane. That was He's a actually dieback for a longer too. time because he got back. Yep. And me, I don't okay, know if they can go Roche with this. It is Venno alt down. But you still have okay. the Cuddle alt and the Mars alt to worry about. Like, they do want to run into it immediately, but they know this is happening. It's going to be a quick Roche. Can they get Vision KL? Walking over, they do have the plague wards as well. If you can get close enough, come back in 13 seconds. Do you need I, this? Is gonna be dead in 13 seconds. This thing, this yeah, is such Mars. a quick roche. 
XD getting a ward on the inside. He does have the four staff, but they might just be able to blow him up. Atachi with the eggs. That's the, such a strange blink. Arrow not going to connect either. They use the Cotto ult. They need to bring down the spirit, I believe. Just focus it down. Mars ult pop from AmbiK. Oh. They're going to lose Ursa before it's gone. Down goes Ursa. He Reggie does. uses the ultimate. Doesn't get the stun out onto AmbiK. Roche is so low, and they don't have a buyback on Ursa either. Courier it's even dies on the inside. Luca's bot or back for this. It didn't buy back. They might just bring down Rose. Luca gets the Agus, oh. and now all three of them getting locked down inside the pit. This is not the way they wanted the fight to go. Maybe you can kill Luca once, but I don't think so. Riza might be able to escape with the life, but Arrow Black does connect onto Rubik, but it's not gonna matter. Spear follow up is there. Disaster of a fight. For remove radiance. Ursa, Ursa, if I was Ursa there, I would just pop my BKB and hit the Roshan and take it. But he just popped his ulti and he just got greedy with his BKB. Pop BKB, ignore the cut alt, and make sure yeah, we and get just, Roshan. Just make sure you take Roshan. But he didn't do that, then he got lifted at the end. Because cut alt does not care about status resists. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna hit there no matter what. It's always on the ground. Like, I believe the duration's always the same. Like, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's just, I think his, uh, he's gonna get controlled like the same duration, which is 1.3. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's not like affecting you, I guess. It's like, it's in the area, and the duration is always the same no matter what. Yeah, so the status isn't in that It's kind of like black hole in that way, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like on the ground. He is swapping over into that SNY now. Maybe they can find KL, which wouldn't be too bad of, of a kill. But he does have a blink away. I think the bigger target might be the Venno here, or the Lycan even. They're going to use Bainalt onto Lycan. He has an Aegis, though. They're going to nice okay. stun onto the backside. Down goes Coddle. They lose one on Coddle. They get Quapalt as well, cleaning up two. First life Where's gone, Mars? Reggie gonna have this done afterwards. They've already lost Benno and they're gonna lose Lycan twice. Claire just messing, I think. Okay, Mars is just in another land. Yeah, I mean, Mars is there, he's able to pop out, maybe save his core, potentially even turn the fight because they got Benno alt on a decent amount of uh, heroes there. It just felt like they were split for no reason. They're just unable to walk us five, I guess. They are. I mean, I think they need to push now, though, right? Like, they did just take a, a big fight, but maybe they don't have enough time. Lycan's only dead for another 20 seconds. He's only level 15. Yeah, his, his farm is around the same from three minutes ago. Okay, I'm not sure why you buy, you buy the Assault Corrupt Oh, Itachi? I think Itachi might just be dead right now. MPK does have the Blink forward as well as the Mars Alt stun through from the Rubik. But no, the lift is not the greatest combo though. He's going to have a Blink out afterwards. Up in five yeah. seconds, but yeah, he's almost certainly dead. Does have the Yules oh. away, but he's pretty dead. He's just going to tick down afterwards. I'm not sure why he uses Ulti on Mars, but okay. Is that going to stop the Blink if he like really Blink? Dude, it's just so they can the tip him. The people just Guaranteed. people like uh sorry I don't know. I mean I guess it's, it's all, it also might have just been to make sure they couldn't like go for a save if any uh, other dire heroes were there. Like uh, uh I feel like it just like uh, they just click buttons and they just like get uh, nervous or something. Something happened there. But you can't be a nice guy and just say <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, it's such a low cooldown. You might as well pop it, even when you see some creeps. <laughs> 17 to 24, though. They are going to try and go towards that tier 3 high ground. I mean, you can do it with the Lycan, too, even without the Aegis. They, like... they have the ulties. All their ulties. Mm -hmm. Echo Slam up as well on Reggie, but he's taking a lot of damage from these Necro books. So what do you think about having a recipe and it's the plate mill? The uh, wait, what? On Lycan. Wait, Lycan went. He just, he just got it. So he had the recipe and it's a plate mill the whole time. Now he he, he had money to buy his AC. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, 
So he just had the that 1300 for no, used for no reason. He just bought the recipe. That does seem kind of weird. Like, a little backwards, but no matter. I mean, he has the AC now. Yeah, he got it. It might have helped him a bit earlier when he died in the, uh, in the river, but to, like, have that armor, but... Um, and there are no, he would have died anyways. Oh, yeah. But it makes them survive just that little bit longer, so they maybe get the Mars. Maybe. It's a big maybe, <laughs> but... Yeah, at that moment, Mars will just, uh, oh, so leave just stolen, give up on I don't him. think they want to fight. Yeah. I believe that is three bounty runes. Yeah, it's three. XD still just farming up the jungle too. 24 to 17, about a 6k gold lead for remove radiance. And it was a 4k, so they're still taking it just a bit. Velvavel is getting bigger and bigger. And now with that BKB, he still has it at 10 seconds. Surprised he's not looking for an abyssal quite yet. He needs a full status this before that. Does have the SMI satanic next, and maybe he just gets rid of the windlace. Is this just a value windlace? Do you hear me? Wait, what? Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, looks like I got disconnected. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, I thought you were saying like you had explained why he had the windlace earlier, and I was like, no, what? no, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so what's happened? Okay, why he has windlace right now? Yeah, is it just value like? Maybe he just wants the extra movement speed. I've seen people doing it, but I feel like... Well, he doesn't need... I think Windblaze is just uh, just an item people start building whenever they remove the AG. Gives move speed, you know? Mm. Well, he's got a decent just... amount of move speed now, especially with the... Uh... Actually, what is he getting that from? It's 468? From oh, does that get move speed now? Run ulti? Yeah, it's always been. What? Yeah. I did time. not know this. What? When she was broken, that's why. Then they reduced the movement speed that gives... What? People going busy. Why did I not do this? Okay, I've been playing for like six years. That's embarrassing. Well, like ten years, actually. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, people thought that Mirana was broken just because she can't get invis, but no, that's not the only reason. Is the invis and the extra move speed she has. That's why DP's broken too. It's a move speed on the ultimate. I never used to know yeah, that existed speed. either until like a month ago. Broken. DK became good whenever they gave him an extra 15 movement speed. The movement speed, the best stat in the game. Yeah. That's why Winlays is so value. Plus 20. Still got 412 move speed. Like, just by default, they are going to take the tier 2 bottom, but Radiant looks like to be smoking here. Belvavel just waiting high ground, is going to jump away for the moment. Luca wants to find an initiation onto somebody. There's MPK, does not get the Nightmare out. He misses the spear too. They have the ult onto oh, the Coddle. God. Doesn't actually get the ult up, but down goes Itachi instead. Immediately down, does go for the buyback. Claire is going to get focused up too by the Lycan and the ult, but the stolen ult by the Rubik. They're locking oh. down the Ursa, who just used his BKB, he can use the ult immediately afterwards, but they need to get outside of this call to ult. Down goes Venno. Down goes AmpiK. No, he's safe for now by the Halberd. Going for the TP oh, no. on the cliff is Luca. You're going to lose Claire, I believe. No, he's actually going to live. Itachi getting a double kill after the buyback. What value there? Nox D, I think, going to get killed after this as well. Does get the pushback, but he can't just get the nightmare afterwards. Get rid of it and kill immediately afterwards. Triple kill for Itachi after the buyback. No Somehow buyback Mars. Can ended up on the high ground, on the cliff. I think, what caused that? I'm not sure. Is it Fissure maybe? No, it, it had to be Quapal, right? Like that's the only thing. Yeah. Bottom tower has he just wasn't on the cliff the whole didn't, time. Didn't see it, yeah, but <laughs> he just gets removed from the fight and they lose pretty much immediately after. I mean, they kill off the Tachi so quickly, but and the buyback really coming in handy. Where did he TP into? Was that the... He probably TP'd to tier 1 bottom since it's still alive. That's like the only time you'll see that tower come in handy. Uh, he TP'd to the outpost. Oh. So this is still the most useless tower in the game. Okay. Oh, immediately into Roche 2. I believe this was a short respawn. Like, this is so unfortunate for animal control with this Roche respawn because they're not quite in position to fight this yet. Cotto ult still on cooldown for 30 seconds. You do have Benno ult, but Roche is already dead. And there is no chance for snatching this time. She's on the ground as well, picked up by Velvavel. 
And we're we immediately going to go into the Marana Hall. Satanic's coming. Good luck killing Orso. We'll see what happens. You never know. You never know. He is down to a 9 second BKB now. They do hit the scan. Maybe they can find an arrow, but no, he throws it mid instead. And I think they maybe just thought he was farming the mid lane. Claire's a little bit too far forward right now. They have a spear. They might just be able to bring down Bane, but there's the save in from Reggie. He does have the ultimate on the uh, Earthshaker, but he's a little low on mana. Able to pop the Soul Ring, but that's, I don't think that's quite going to do too much. I think he's going to live. Yeah, he's going to live. He's fine. Just bide their time a little bit longer and wait to push until they can get Bane a little bit healthier. Four, two, and eleven on. Actually, yeah, that's a hell of a game for Reggie. Up to this point. I mean, what do you go on Lycan? Do you just get the BKB into? He's going Deso. Is that just for push? Like, I would get. Uh... I would get Basher. Basher instead of Deso or Basher instead of BKB? No, I would go BKB, but I need Basher too. And I would go Lotus Orb instead of Eggs on Venna. Lotus Orb instead of Eggs. Wait, what does the Venna Eggs do again? It just uh, shorter cooldown. Oh, uh, yeah, up. it's one of those boring Agnums. Damn, dude. They should make it so that the uh, Plague Wards shoot out Venomous Scales. That's the ultimate eggs right there. Split shots. Split shot on Venom is what it <laughs> should do? Dude, split that would be so the, cancer. Or a split shot on the woods. Oh, God. Yeah. That would be so <laughs> cancerous. I feel like kind of bad, too, but it'd well, just be it annoying. Maybe it gives damage to the wards. It's going to be a first item every game. First item every game, so you can just, like... Push with the damage. You're basically playing StarCraft 2 at that point, dude. Got some, uh, some Protoss. A little bit of a Zerg rush, but uh, Claire is walking forward with the Murano. They can't actually find anybody. Arrow not gonna connect. It's been a little bit since we see one of those connect. To start a fight, anyway. Does he just throw them without the They're gonna go for back, and I don't think they're gonna find anybody. Nope. But maybe actually Velvavel could just run into Nox over here. He does get the slow, but I think Velvavel realizes he's a bit too far forward. The rest of the team not quite there. He actually dropped Caudal Movement Speed from 425 to 191. That's actually a huge slow. With Urshak, yeah. yeah. Dude, Urshak's yeah. such a good ability. Like, is that get, uh, you know, it doesn't get buffed by talents. But you do get the AoE, I guess, but you probably go for the overpower attacks, right? It is so annoying. Yeah, I would go to attacks, but uh, imagine just everyone just load. Oh, like, he went for the AoE. AoE. He goes for the AoE, dude. It's annoying. It's gonna be annoying for everyone. Oh my goodness. It feels like you're lagging whenever you get hit by it. I mean, it basically lags the whole game, probably, how big that is. Like, look at the size of it now. It's, it's not the jump range, right? Like, the jump range is still about the same. But yeah, just the AoE is so much to deal with. <laughs> oh my goodness, that it looks so stupid. Well, Arrow through, they find it this time onto the Venno. Can they actually get the kill though? The lift is gonna be there, they pop the ultimate. Venno does get a little bit of a save out, but I think he's gonna die almost immediately afterwards. He used the, uh, the blink there, the neutral item, to go for a save. Flicker actually helping him, but it really, he still dies afterwards. Reggie just jumping forward, going for the Mega Slam. I think they're gonna live too. Itachi probably not gonna die. He has the cheese. They aren't going a little low on Marana. Blah, blah, blah. Able to just pop a satanic and be fine. Buyback popped on two. See if they want to keep fighting. I'm. I think you just defend the high ground, right? Like I'm a little surprised yeah. they're trying to defend this tier two. Of all the towers they could pick to uh, make the defense on. And it's like Lycan just standing here. It's not like trying to put any pressure on any other lanes. Mm -hmm. Like maybe he could be pushing bottom right now. He does have the TP. Um, I mean, maybe he just doesn't want to use the Necker units in another lane or something. Uh, I don't know. Do we have another 25 coming up? That is Egg is gone, unfortunately. 
Uh, four remove radiance. Uh, Quap's level 23. Do we have any other close? No. XP battle certainly going towards remove radiance. He is working on Abyssal now. Does have a Basher on Velvavel. Dude, Basher plus. And once he gets Abyssal plus like the AoE Earthshock, like how do you get away from this hero? Radiance Can't kite him anyway. They have some four steps. They yeah, what? One. So they have the one, one on Beno. One. They have, and that's it, right? And spear. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spear. And spear also does not care about status resistance, so. The stun care, but the push is the same way. It's gonna push him far. Well, either way. 20k gold lead 32 to 18 like uh i'm a little surprised nobody's bought a lincoln's yet like maybe you want to see it on venno or something just to counter the bane ulti but it's going to eggs still instead doesn't really feel like it's that too big of a deal i guess he's gotten a decent uh, like claire is doing a really good job uh getting the full length uh bane ulties off like yeah he just he's using it in morrison coddle right now their team fights he's not using it like it yeah anymore. well i think that's the play too like you might as well just remove their best team fight ulti outside the mars like and they really don't have any cancel like you said the in the draft the lockdown just isn't there remove one of it and it's suddenly like 50 percent of it's gone of them too. we have ways to Ash cancel really still but... hit a creep on that i mean if you hit a creep going high ground here i don't know how they'd make this fight happen though for remove radiance it feels like you gotta wait for roche again which could respawn in 40 seconds but uh lycan does i mean he at least luca's trying to stay with um itachi when it comes to farm Sort of keeping up too, surprisingly. But I mean, most of that space is going straight to like Inveno in second place. Really doesn't have too much. Other than that, he does have the eggs now. 60 second cooldown, as well as 125 damage. Buffed up from 90, so 35 extra damage per tick. Aether Lens, Gas Range Talent, and he has Telescope and Bane. He ulties from so far away. Got oh, they just go for the alt instead. They don't know where the Bane is, I believe. Reggie's going to follow it up with the stun as well as the Shivas, but they need to get a stun. Reggie in, doesn't have ultimate. So he just ulted without any communication with his team. Cool. Yeah, and nobody was there either. I mean, it felt like kind of a weird positioning for the Venom, but the, nobody committed for it. Like, Looks like he just didn't tell his team what he's going there. to do. He just like, you know, ult ulted, that's it. And still, I mean, you might as well just wait till that's off cooldown because you got two minutes until Roche is back up. Level 25. Dude, 5. we need 5. to start 5. seeing Battle Fury on uh, Earthshaker. I think that's the next big development. Just one shot in creep camps. They are going to smoke, try and find Riza. He's <laughs> popping the alt. Do they have vision for this? Yes, they do with the dust. He's got spider legs, but I don't think it's going to be quite much time. No, he's able to get the save. He's got two more leaps too. Can they get it out? He's got the alt over on Reggie. He doesn't hit too much though. Ultimate eggs popped out from Benno, but I think it only connected onto Reggie. Itachi is aggressively blinking here. It needs to just back up, but he's got the BKB, so it might just be okay. Reggie is going to get focused down. Had the Venom on top of him. They've lost three since they lost the Bane as well. Itachi needs to pop another blink to get out of here. It does have a decent amount of range, and I don't think they can chase it too much further. Tried to make something happen, and not a great position there for remove Radiance. Luckily, again, Roche still down. Still, they got the lead, but uh, obviously that's not what you want to see. Your team getting picked off in the jungle. And Lycan's still building up a bigger lead, even. He gets faster now in the Lycan. It's 10 second BKB used on Itachi there as well. Die, 
Dude, the cooldown on Quap eggs is, or alts is just so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, incredible. <laughs> he killed the courier. Oh, and Velva Bell finds a kill with the Abyssal. He's on the mega kill streak now. Sometimes and that's a buy. Things. That's a dieback, Why? actually. Why is your support there? I think he has buyback. I don't know. He's still on cooldown for a bit. Yeah, that's not the greatest position to be. Urshaker up in 10 seconds, and also Roche about to be up. He pops the. Uh, He's got the Minotaur Horn, but out comes the ultimate from the Bane. They can get vision as well. There's a nice arrow coming in. He somehow found the space. Risa does get the ultimate popped on top of him. Quap or has to pop the BKB to survive through this pipe on top of him as well. Fear over into the Venno, but they get the PSL over onto Luca. Luca just getting stun locked, and there is no chance. They need a couple more hits. He's got the ultimate. I think he's going to be able to live. Going for the uh -huh. TP away. Yeah. Do they have a cancel? No, they get the fear. They get the fear. Luca goes down and Tachi hits a blind scream. Had no idea. Incredible play from Atachi, and now they can just take Roche. They do have buyback on Luca, fortunately. So that's a nice But Venno down for to... 90 seconds. So my goodness, where's strikes. the tips for Atachi there? They didn't kill him. Uh, it wasn't a bad play. They only took him with the. Oh, it was a good play, dude. There's no tips for yeah. good plays. Yeah. Either way, Naroche, they go. It's going to be a really quick one, and there is no contest. They do scan it, but it feels kind of wasted. And I think high ground they go. Bane coming back up. Dude, apparently, apparently the AOE slow is legit. Like, it feels pretty good. On such a low cooldown, too. Like, eggs as well onto Velva Imagine Ball. if you had the nine attacks to hit this tower. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, that's true. I mean, that is true. But he's got the battle fury to push, dude. It's, he's got the extra damage from that. I guess. What just stunned Velva Bell there? Nothing, he just gets pushed with the... Oh, I thought he got stunned afterwards, but it might have just been lingering. Um... Yeah, I mean, Barrack's pretty much gone. You do have Lycan back up, Venno back up in 10. And they do just go for the back out. They still have the Aegis. Over on Quap, and Velva Bell with the eggs too, pretty much feels unkillable. Like... If you get him locked down inside of a Mars ult or something, he can just pop yeah, that Yeah, he doesn't turn. care about stuns anymore, yeah? Yep. He just cares about silences and there's no silences. 18 so. second cooldown, he can just pop Abyssal, go forward, arrow into XD, but Velvavel just wants to sit here, jumps into the Mars ult even. They want to get the kill onto XD before he can get that ult off, but I think he's just going to get off. Itachi pops BKB, still it goes on top of you, but Lycan getting the ult in the backside, but there's Claire with the Bane ult, Fiend's grip. He has to go for the buyback on Lycan, but he doesn't have the ultimate up, so a lot of his power is just gone. They find Itachi's first life, XD going to get focused up by Velvavel. His ult back off cooldown in 7 seconds, and he's still as BKB Reggie using the ultimate just slams them down. They have to spend three buybacks immediately. Very clean fights at the end of the game for remove radiance, and I think we're gonna see the end of the game here. Sleep over onto XT in the middle of the fight. They hit the combo. Down goes XT for the second time. That's a dieback down for two minutes. Ampike trying to fight off into Itachi, but I don't think it's really gonna go too well for him. Reggie's maybe committed a bit too far. Arrow not quite gonna hit. Halberd over onto Velvavel to try and stop him from finding anything, but over onto Lycan, he just gets the hits with the Satanic as well as the slow. No getting away from this. Mars has to go for the buyback, but down for a minute or two minutes again on Lycan. Look at the net level, worth. Level, level 25 crop, which is so good. Holy shit, 50k. The all 40k net worth. That might be a record even. 50k, I know. Wait, is it 50k? Oh, the, the lead. I was looking at Ursa's net worth himself. 41k, like... Dude, I, I'm a believer in the in the Battle Fury on Ursa. Like, that's insane, the amount of farm yeah, you get. Yeah, 750 GPM. Just compared to everybody else in the game, like, he's literally just like the Jeff Bezos. I mean, it was like Luca trying to 1v5. His team just was dying. That'd be great. 
Animal Control puts up a fight in game two. I think game one was pretty remove radiance, just showing him up. But uh, I feel like they just did not abuse that Ursa did not have BKB, and they just were scared, so scared to fight with their ultimates. Although they put, like they picked just a uh, team fight heroes with the Venom Mars and Coddle. Yeah. It was still like a good effort from Luca too, thirteen and nine. But at the end of the day, just not enough to stop the the rolling. Remove radiance. Might as well do it now. But anyway, thank you for joining me, Nir. It's been great. It's been a pleasure it's been casting. A pleasure same I believe same. we're pretty much done with the group stage for League of Legends season four. So yeah, we're just waiting for the groups. No, this is not a group stage. There's just a. Well, it's the seating for the group stage. Yeah, that's the seating. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. I did.